All right, Cyber Traders, welcome on back here this Wednesday, although it still feels like a Thursday afternoon now after 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Great to see Grant, Leda, Michael, Dominic, all of our students here just joining us live. Oh, boy, do we have a lot to talk about. Oh, man. And I'll tell you what, we're going to talk mostly in class about it, but with CGC, Mara, CLSK, you see all of our students here in our trading room, at least on the bottom right of my screen, you got my position manager and just like we are moving right now in all of these trades at least right um honestly clsk needs to start booking it over 24 but we are doing phenomenal at least at least here on cgc so we're going to start off on this trade but we have class ahead at, four, at 305 eastern time uh finishing up the phase one stock course there great to see margaret joining us here as well and with that cgc off of 769 why well, we'll talk more about it in class. But basically, that was a level we were following going into this week from Monday to Tuesday to today. It's really one of the only lines you see on my graph actually right now. But I deleted a lot of my actual lines from earlier. This is one of the ones I was really just fixated on from the morning session. It broke above it as resistance, became support. And off and running, we are still in. So 772 has been a great entry, at least from there. I'm going to add this to our to our watch list. I took half this trade out, at least at this point. I was going to say in full, but I did take only half because I figure, you know what, I'll try and milk it out for a little bit longer going into my class at 3 o'clock, 3.05. And, yeah, you know, hey, if I'm going to just ride this out into the close, if it just keeps on trucking up, then this is more just for academics now at this point if you're already satisfied with the trade and you still have some skin left in the game like you locked some up and you're very content with it you still have some left and you know not to say you you, you don't care but you know you're having a little more fun than anything you're not trying to be mr perfecto or miss perfect then you could try and ride it out and with that cgc easily I'm just going to put on our list here to start uh oh boy my notepad aka my cell phone is on six percent that's not good all right let's try and go through this gainers list in just a bit with that in mind though a couple more stocks that we've been talking about that i'm in still on mara and clsk clsk more is a swing i want to hold on to that for a little bit mara is going to be a day trade mara here i'm definitely going to get out of before the end of the day but pushed up pretty nicely off of 21 support and this is where i say just you know look to follow the moderators just in the chat board myself obviously fausto himself and and rich but you know i just earlier i was on a call with one of my students larry and just messaging earlier but i was saying hey real time at 11:54, mara larry and i are looking for a bounce from 21 that was at 11:54. Twenty-one oh seven. so with saying so we're going to ride this out at least into the afternoon mara now here's the thing mara and clsk2 as much as i want them to push up and as much as i like them generally you know my stance if you're a longtime student here of ctu i mean you don't even need to be a longtime student to to, to to know this honestly just really if you're here actively for the last few months you probably have heard me say this these crypto stocks are ginormous teases going into the market close and i know one day i will be gladly wrong when they run and like fly actually to be transparent i think really the last time clsk was good clsk actually in the afternoon maybe it was like a week ago that was actually pretty good it wasn't the big run but it was it was enough it was enough that we wanted but you know just 99 percent of the time they are teases from this point going forward but they're teases because they're tradable right? It's not because they're on 20 cent spreads and they're like, oh, the shiny object in the room. We know they could run. We know where the levels are. Hey, really quick for uh, Grant and Margaret and Irving and later all of our students here, looking at just this chart, look at my screen, just the chart, nothing else. My one minute chart. Where do you tend to see resistance on this chart? We're going to be covering a little bit more than this in class later on today. I think we've graduated from chart class just last month, right? So a lot of us should get this pretty much from this point. Dominic, Tony, pretty much within that vicinity, right? I mean, it, it's tough to eyeball it perfect, but like a little bit around 24, a little bit over it maybe, right? You trust a whole number level like 24 to start. Look at that level there on the chart. Hey, if this could blast higher from 24, then game on. But... We'll see if it can make that move, right? I mean, normally they tend to kind of fade off into the afternoon or just stall out at that. 
maybe they just break higher and just grind up a little bit. But, you know, hey, CLSK, I guess, did run pretty nicely. Power walked, maybe we'll call it. Yeah, last week, um, BTBT not doing as much, Canon not doing as much, Coinbase down. So it's really just CLSK and Mara to me, nothing else. Not going to focus on any of the other crypto stocks as far as I see. Uh, I'm sorry, Irene Hut Hive. I, this isn't up a lot percentage wise, but a little sneaky stock here, HUT. Keep on your side list. Not putting this on the main list, but. I've been talking a little bit on this of late. Once they start getting up around seven, eight, nine dollars per share, you start seeing a pop up on, on more, more people's radars. So, you know, this is looking pretty good as far as a trend and it's tradable, but it doesn't really have a lot of momentum behind it. I like the others more for now. And, you know, just keep this on your side list for tomorrow. That's all. All right. I got to reset my time and sales. I just went over time and sales in class earlier today. I got to reset this thing really fast. One second. Uh, Rich, really fast, if you want to repost the link for class coming up, phase one for all of our students just here in chat. I know you just did that before, but we'll have that coming up at 3.05 Eastern time. And with that, let's just go right from top to bottom here, see what we could add. <laughs> wow, I wasn't expecting this to actually look good. GCTS, semiconductor holding. Uh, had a nice little pop and drop earlier today. It broke higher, running, flying now. Jeez, this thing's up 410% on the day today. Yeah, it's nice to see. It's like cool, you know, but we see 410% uh, percent stocks actually quite often here at CTU that are on better orders or order books than this. So, you know, it's it's cool to look at, but the more you look at it, the more you waste your time following a stock that you can't trade. Now, <laughs> I don't know how much time you got. I don't have too much time here for this because IBIO, I was ripping my hair out all throughout the morning. And I know 95% of our students were as, uh, were as well. I mean, just for example, broke above resistance here at 280, which was a pre-market level right at this point. Things were looking really nice at this at this stage, but then it shook back down. And then at that point, it finally started to move back up. But even going into class, we had a nasty shake right back down. Just an absolute nightmare, right? Like, you don't want to deal with that crap. And then finally, for it to break higher and for it to make that clean move. <laughs> so it looks like it's becoming a better trade. And with that now, it's hard for us to not focus on IBIO. I'm going to put this on our watch list at least here. And, you know, hopefully it remains as volatile as we've seen it to be here and not the type of volatility that we had from earlier. That was a pain in the ass earlier. All right, and keep going though here. Hopefully, some better trades on top. DXYZ. I kind of avoided DXYZ the second I saw the name. I'm like, what the heck is this? This just sounds like a pop and drop type of stock. And I guess it was an IPO from yesterday. You look at it from uh, yesterday, pop and drop going back up today. It's just another stock that wastes your time. Even Sizu, nice push from earlier today. Now it's flat. That's the main reason I'm not going to focus on it. But, you know, even this from earlier, good chart, good move. But the order book thinning out that much more, the more this pushes up in price. This was just a $2 stock, $3 stock last week. And here we are now at 10. So that's the case. That's kind of the, the tradition for any stock. But, you know, that's kind of what makes this become more untradeable over time. Sizu. LIXT stock. This had a nice push earlier today, but now again, the order book thinning out though a lot. Look at the spread now. Uh, this one had a good pump from earlier today. I didn't really call out too much going into class. It kind of fell under the radar and you know could have been a decent squeeze, but now at this point, just kind of looking a little lame, look, looking a little lackluster. ALLG, allergy, I guess we'll call it. NUVB, hanging in there. NUVB, hanging in there. I'll come back to that if we need to. SMR, ooh, wow, have SMR pushing back up to the highs. Very nice. Pushing up to an iceberg right now at 560, I thought, just right there for about 19,000. Maybe they're pulling their order here. We'll just double check level three here in a second as that price gets tested. 560, 561 right now, real time, checking some resistance there. All right, SMR makes the cut, looking pretty good for right now. Beautiful trend, you know, faded off, but obviously showing better strength now at this point, looking pretty strong. All right, uh, back, 
uh, coming back on the way back up from its move back from Friday this past week. Again, though, apples to oranges in terms of the order book. CGC, we talked about it, killed it so far on that one. SDKS, BCAB, eh, BCAB not doing bad. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Uh, yeah, I could add this to our list. Let me just check the daily chart. It hasn't really made it. You know what? Actually, this isn't even too big of a move. It just looks like some big green candles. But, you know, it's nice to see back to back. But even this compared to some of the other trades that we've you know, run over so, so far, this isn't even that big of a jump percentage wise compared Looks like it has a ways to go. Also, short squeeze potential here too. Uh, all right, BCAB, I'll add it. We've got ACB, another pot stock going up with CGC. I could add this too. You know, it's kind of like Mara and CLSK. You'll get CGC and ACB, it seems now, right? Kind of one or the other. You know, both are tradable. I'm not going to add every pot stock, you know, on our watch list now for those two, but. Yeah, ECB looking decent. Blue, it's getting too slow now. Uh, Blink, I feel like even this could be too slow. And the stock has teased us quite often over this uh, year already. From the beginning of this year or even the end of last year, just chopping around. Had a couple weeks where there was a chance to see this run higher and just fell right back within this range here. So you can see it right there. It's It's teased us in the past. I could add it to our list. I just want to see if there's anything looking even better, stronger. You know, that hasn't really been a giant tease. SPWR, didn't catch that until now. Looking a little slow. All right. So from Michael, Grant, Margaret, later all of our students here in chat, let me know if there's anything else looking good from your side, from the gainers list at least. Uh, hop over to the losers list. And good afternoon to Cheryl D on YouTube. Just catching your comment right now, Cheryl. So welcome aboard or all of us just on YouTube right now. Just feel free to scan that QR code on the top left with your camera, with your phone. Well, I should say with your camera, with your with your phone, not with your camera. You're doing like the, the Polaroid camera. You can't do it with that. With a cell, cell, cellular device, scan that QR code on the top left. Join us inside our live trading room. Get the full education, full commentary each and every day. But with that, let's hop over to the losers list here. Mara is still pumping up. CLSK has got to make that break over 24. Uh, GMDA, interesting to see a stock down 83%. But yeah, when it's below a dollar now at like five cents even, we're not going to trade it. All right. We'll kind of just skim the losers list really fast. There's really not as much out there on this side at this time of the day, unless if the markets are tanking. We had a nice drop earlier this morning. Mm, Celsius, CELH, name brand company, just, again, a little thin on the book. It, it, it's expensive, so it's not a surprise that the order book is thin. You know, if you want to day trade Celsius, like buy puts on and into the close, looks like an interesting trade there, right? But we'll see if there's anything else looking better as far as liquidity goes. MLGO, MKND, Prax, my dyslexia just tripped me up there. Uh, DraftKings, wow, took a huge hit back down. Well, they ran up near 50, right? So is there any news that came out on DraftKings overnight? I didn't even care to check that. We've called it out as a swing trade from 42. Scott says yes. What was it earnings? Ooh, it looks like NCAA seeks to ban college prop bets. Is that is that all? Yeah, uh, President Charlie Baker trying to ban college prop bets from all betting markets. I don't think that should make that big of a drop, to be honest with you. All right, so for anyone that doesn't really focus on any of the degenerate gambling stuff like myself, we've been calling out DraftKings as a swing trade because of March Madness. Big college basketball tournament started last weekend, continuing tomorrow into Sunday, all the way through into the beginning of April. So... It's worked out phenomenal so far. I feel like this is just one giant overreaction then. If that's the only news out on the, banning college, like side bets, the prop bets, not even the main ones, markets just flat and grinding back up. I feel like unless if there's more news out on top, this would be a good opportunity to try and reload on a position. 
Simple as saying that. Look for 45 to support the build, right? Wow. DraftKings down 7 you know, goes on the watch list for that reason. All right. I mean, even if it does continue to pull back a little bit from here, just make sure 45 could hold. And then if it breaks there, maybe you go lower. But look for a bounce on DraftKings here into the close here. I like this. Boil, pass on that, and just going nowhere. All right, folks. I mean, hey, it's already 2.48. Got about 13, 12 or so minutes until 3 o'clock until Rich jumps back on the mic for me. Uh, I'll be in class with all of our gold, platinum, diamond, C2 students. And then uh, otherwise, best of luck trading going into the market close. Been doing well so far. Mara, CLSK, CGC. Again, for the CGC at this point, you do have some resistance on the daily chart here. I'll talk more about that in class coming up ahead. But um, your next icebergs would be at nine eighty eight and ten dollars. That would be your next set of icebergs on this trade. So if it could break above that daily chart resistance, then uh, it looks like we had a little something pop up here. All right. So in the last five or cent, five or ten minutes, about a forty five thousand share iceberg at nine thirty five. But I was referencing, yeah, it looks like it was this person here. So whoever was this order right here at 988, that's the same person that's moving their order down right now. So yeah, it looks like they're trying to squeeze this down a little bit. The question is, well, who's going to win the battle? The bulls or the bears? We're going to see a new iceberg pop up on the bid. Is this going to try and break over that sell wall, that sell resistance? I think that there's time to see it. There's plenty of time at least to see a higher low build. So, you know, I look forward to following this trade with our students in class going into the close. Otherwise, folks, best of luck trading all together. I'll come back on the mic just tomorrow morning. Take